Ah, the ego. The very thing that blocks the divine light from entering our being. The glasses that blur the view. In our current society, the ego is a collection of memories and objects who are identifiable with some identity, or, more specifically, yourself. As the ego gets stronger and stronger as we age, it will begin to feel a sense of existence. A being, if you will. And the ego, just like us, wants to hold on to its existence. It doesn't want to die. Thus, the ego tries to hold on to its identity and existence by feeding on our thoughts and experiences. Whenever you have an undelightful experience, that's the ego feeding itself on you. As we meditate, we try to stop the mind from thinking, thus weakening the ego. Once the ego is weak enough, you will start having these breaks or peaks in your consciousness. You get the feeling that you don't belong here, that the role you're currently playing isn't what you truly are. Don't worry, this is completely normal. It's a sign of your success on the spiritual journey. But beware, the ego can rebuild itself from a weakened state. If you go to your previous lifestyle, the ego can and will eventually rebuild itself to its full strength. Once the ego gets even weaker, you will awaken. You will awaken from the dream that we think is reality. Good luck.